President Donald Trump has condemned the sick and deranged terror attack in New York City which has left eight dead and dozens injured. Mr. Trump tweeted about the attack as the New York Police Department confirmed that the incident, in which a truck rammed across a cycle path, was an act of terror. He wrote in NYC, looks like another attack by a very sick and deranged person. Law enforcement is following this closely. Not in the USA. He later added we must not allow ISIS to return, or enter, our country after defeating them in the Middle East and elsewhere. Enough the Home Depot truck hurtled 20 blocks through lower Manhattan before plowing across a pedestrian and cycle path near the World Trade Center memorial site. The driver then collided with a school bus, injuring two children and two adults on board, before exiting his truck branding two fake guns and screaming Allahu Akbar which means God is great in Arabic. The 29-year-old suspect was apprehended by a police officer who shot him in the abdomen before he was arrested. A Home Depot van barreled into pedestrians on a cycle path in Lower Manhattan AP. He has been taken into custody and a paintball gun and pellet gun were found at the scene. Two hours after the incident, which left behind scenes of mangled bicycles and bodies strewn across the pavement, officials confirmed it was a terror attack. This was an act of terror, and a particularly cowardly act of terror aimed at innocent civilians, Mayor Bill de Blasio said. Bicycles and debris lay on the bike path near West and Houston Streets AP speaking at a press conference. He said at this moment, based on the information we have, we know of eight innocent people who have lost their lives. Speaking alongside the mayor, New York City Police Commissioner James O'Neill said the driver was a 29-year-old man but would not immediately release his identity. He warned New Yorkers to be vigilant but the suspect was believed to be acting as a lone wolf and not part of a wider attack plan. New York police respond to shots fired near World Trade Center site witnesses described a scene of panic and blood, with people screaming in fear and running from the truck and sounds of gunshots. Live update says at least eight killed in New York terror attack. One traumatized student thought the incident was a Halloween prank, according to the New York Post. We thought the guns were fake and it was a Halloween prank, student Leith Baluli said, there was a car crash, and then he started to shoot. Another man who witnessed the incident unfold said he was traumatized by what he saw. Everybody was running, the witness, named Eugene, said according to ABC New York station WABC. Everything was happening so fast. He described one of the victim's bodies as mangled. The truck was traveling on a bike path in Lower Manhattan before it crashed into a school bus at Chambers and West Streets, near to a school. Some bodies were lying near the high school's entrance, Eugene said. He added, thank God the trick-or-treaters weren't out yet. Another witness described the scene on the bike path immediately after the incident. Attack the truck crashed into a school bus AP he told NBC News I see a truck going down toward Chamber Street, he's clearly in the bike lane and when I go down I see two gentlemen lying in the bike lane with two tire marks right across their body and you can tell they're not here. No more. After speeding 20 blocks, the driver of the truck crashed into another car, and then jumped out and waved imitation firearms. The driver was reportedly seen exiting the vehicle after the crash looking frustrated. The witness told CNN that the driver looked frustrated when he got out the vehicle. He did have a noticeable limp and he looked like he was dragging his foot a little bit and he was screaming in the street, he said. He looked frustrated, panicked, confused.